All right, everybody, I thought I'd give you a look here at Sharon's setup. I've had so many people ask about how I've set up Sharon and Harry when he was a kid, uh, to be honest with you. So uh, when Harry was younger and shot lower poundage, both of them had very, very similar setups. And this is gonna come as a shock to some of you, uh, but Overall, arrow weight was not part of my equation. Uh, the biggest part of my equation for the low poundage was the type of broadhead. Cut on impact broadhead was critical. Sharon shoots a 340 grain arrow. That's what she shoots, 340 grains. Uh, and I know this is, goes against what most of you think, but I want Sharon to be able to have some fun, get a little bit longer distance. She only shoots 40 pounds. So Sharon has a 26 inch draw, 40 pounds. I've got her with a Levitate, with the S2 cam, and she's actually shooting an Elevate rest. She really has always liked that rest, and I've got her uh, Spot Hog Fast Eddy NE with a stock front scope on it. She's got the shorter eight inch ridden stabilizer and I took the three ounces of weight off the front of her stabilizer. This is the arrow setup. She's got a six fletch, small. This is the Pro Max vein. And the reason I use this shorter vein but in a six fletch like that is because of this. For a lot of women or short draw archers, Usually their brace height is slightly shorter too. And if you have a rest that's gonna hold their arrow, like this one, for example, by choosing these shorter veins, but putting more of them on there, I have the overall surface diameter or area that I want, but I also have this clearance right here to where the rest isn't contacting the longer fletch. But if there was longer fletch here, you could see it would interfere with where that rest is holding, which is why I've gone with the shorter veins, but more of them. So the total surface area of this fletch is equal to three three inch max veins. So, uh, but these are the pro max. And again, there's six of them. If you wanna know how to do six, just set up your jig to do a three fletch, fletch three, take the arrow out, rotate it 180 degrees, drop it back in, and then three fletch again, and it'll give you a perfect six fletch just like that. But this is her setup. It's easy for her to pull. She can manage it. I don't try to give her too much weight uh, that forces her to, you know, have to disorient her technique and her form in order to get it back. And I guess the main things in a hunting situation, and Sharon, has killed everything up to kudu, uh, wildebeest, uh, you know, anything the size of an elk. But here's, here is the kicker. With Sharon, um, the rule is on big game like that, it's 20 yards. That's the max for the shot. And we're waiting for, for sure a broadside, preferably a slight quartering shot. And that's the rules with this cut on impact head it's got to be top pin close. For whitetails, max distance is 30 yards. So she's just always had extreme patience to be shooting close, close shots with this head. And this has been a setup that hasn't had pass throughs, but 100% has had unbelievable kill rate. It's something that she can control. It's something that she's comfortable shooting but also it's something that we have set the boundaries to of, you know, whether it's she's killed giant black bears, 20 yards, never had a problem. Again, when we were in Africa, same thing. We waited till we were 20 yards or less. For whitetails, it's 30 yards or less. But for me, having that little bit of extra speed means that she doesn't have to be so precise with her sight scale because even with this arrow and her lower poundage she's on a sight scale uh, number four so if she's set at 20 yards her second pin is actually 30 yards even with this setup so this works really good for her because again we have boundaries top pin 
is 20 yards. The second pin is her max if we're in a whitetail situation. So if that animal is halfway in between, I'll tell her, you know, put the kill zone right between the two pins and you're good to go. It's quick, easy reference for her. And again, it has, honestly, it has been in the high 90s, if not 100%. I can't really remember if she's ever lost anything, if I'm honest with you, but we always keep the shots in a controlled setting, keep the shots at a controlled angle, and we keep her shooting a setup that she's totally comfortable with and isn't more than she can manage.